Our big story tonight, three little girls were taken out of a Mesa home after investigators say that they were living in unsafe and in horrific conditions. Now the parents face charges for child abuse. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. We want to give you a warning. This story does have some graphic details in it. Team 12's Rachel Cole spoke to the girl's grandmother today and has more on the case. Sheriff's deputies say they found the girls' living conditions deeply disturbing. They said the girls went to a neighbor for help and detectives received an anonymous tip. Court records show the house had no running water, there was trash everywhere, and the toilet was full of human feces. And there was no food for the kids to eat. My heart's breaking. Karen, the girl's grandma, in disbelief over allegations against her oldest son, Brandon Edwards, and the girl's mother, Katrina Johnson. He may have not have been a perfect father, but he made sure that my grandbabies were always fed, always had a roof over their head, and that's why they ended up in that house. Karen said the family had been staying in hotels, at one point staying in their car, and ultimately ended up at the house. He would never do anything to harm his girls. He loved them more than his life itself. I just can't see him. I watched him try to get everything he could for them. MCSO also accuses the girl's mother of spending money intended for rent and food to buy illegal drugs. Karen, again, shocked by the claims. I just don't see her doing that either. Officer said the girls also were not in school. Following the parents' arrest, Karen says the girls are now currently in foster care, enrolled in school, and she hopes back with mom and dad soon. I love them, but I, they need to do what they've got to do to fight to get the babies back. Meanwhile, both parents are scheduled in court next month. They both face felony child abuse charges. Rachel Cole, 12 News. Rachel, thanks. Now to